Hi, I'm Marek Reitman. I'm Chief Creative Officer for Aston Martin, and I'm here to talk to you all about DBX, our brand new luxury SUV. The proportion is as much to do with the visual language as it is to do with the driving dynamics. So if we look at the front of DBX, you'll notice a very short front overhang because we've pushed the engine as far back as we could to almost create a front mid-engine layout. And that emphasizes the Aston Martin grille. This is probably the biggest Aston Martin grille we've ever developed because as the first SUV, we really wanted to show that it's an Aston Martin with a very, very typical form language to the grille. You'll notice the inflection, the Aston Martin feeling, the wrap of the grille, real aluminium extruded sections for the grille. So it's metal, metal to touch, beautifully crafted. Again, we look at the badge made by Vortens, enameled. You can also get this badge in a, in a carbon fiber or an all black finish, but it's made as a piece of jewelry, handmade in the jewelry district. And lower down in the car, you'll see this carbon fiber splitter, which starts to take the air under the car and feeding some of the cooling for brakes and obviously radiator through the grill as well. We don't want built up air pressure gathering at the front of the car, but we do need a hard cutoff point to ease the airflow down the side of the car. Here we have the daylight running light, and on the inside of the light is an air intake that relieves the high pressure air built up and feeds it into the wheel arch and dissipates the air so you're not getting that high pressure build up. You start to see a very typical Aston Martin feeling and shape to the headlamp. It has a character. All Aston Martins have a character. If we come down to the side of the car, you'll see it's got a traditional Aston Martin side strake, really telling you this is an Aston Martin. From every aspect, from the front, from the side, from the rear of the car, you'll see Aston Martin in its DNA. Diamond turned wheels and a 22 inch wheel with a black inner really emphasize again, the precision nature of all the componentry that sit on DBX. Air out from the front wheel arch in terms of lift comes through this feature here. So we're taking that high pressure air away from the front wheel arch, giving again more stability for Matt and his team to make this car drive and ride incredibly well. If we come down to the lower area, you're looking for better airflow along the side, so it exits cleanly and you have much better aero count. We're also using the golden proportion, that one third to two third relationship. We're putting the car in shadow here so that your mind is really reading the upper part of the car in relation to the glass house. So you get that proportional relationship. Plus it looks as though it's lifted off the ground and it's moving even when it's static. We use all the principles of design in the same way that we develop our sports cars. So it truly is the Aston Martin of SUVs. And as we come to the back of the DBX, it's really important to look at the aerodynamics that form the functionality and part of the design language at the back of the car because the aerodynamics is integrated within the body form you'll see the very, very typical Aston Martin flick and inflection, which reflects the grille shape at the front. So important because this ducktail actually provides several counts of downforce to keep the back of DBX very, very stable. And also uniquely, you'll notice no rear wiper because a lot of the cleaning of the windscreen is done by this unique spoiler system that has a separated air function. So air attached to the screen cleaning and obviously air over the top of the spoiler, which helps again in counts of downforce to keep this car agile and perfectly poised on the road. Keeping the rear overhang short, obviously reducing the masses at the back of the car, both visually and through the weight at the back of the car as well, giving that very, very agile feel. But what it helps us to do is cut off the visual length of the car. So you get the appearance of something very, very sporting and the muscularity around the rear arch as though the wheels are pushing their way through the body, all defined by that beautiful crease that goes from front to back of the car. And then obviously as we've come lower down the back of the car, all the way down to the rear diffused area, the rear diffuser, which is really important for aerodynamic functionality. And you see these carbon fiber veins 
that help exit the air but also keep the air in control. So Matt Becker and his team have every possibility to get this car to be as stable as it possibly can at speeds on the road. And of course practicality in that boot volume, 632 litres. All of the technology in here to, to keep things stowed safely, the runners that sit down the side again, real aluminium extrusions that sit there with all the fixing points and 62 litres of volume hidden underneath the floor for anything that you want to keep safe and then brushed aluminium so you protect the back of the car as you're loading things in. So you can see the brush lines again hinting at that hand-built perfection. So as we come to the inside of DBX you really start to see the true feeling of an Aston Martin. We know all about the proportion and the love of the exterior. This is about the sumptuous materials, the authenticity of the real metal parts, the glass switches, the real carbon fibres, the bridge of weir, Scottish leather. You even get a really nice aroma from the leather on the inside of the car. The stitch detailing. Everything on an Aston Martin is hand stitched together on the inside. The broguing that you see that you would typically see in the fashion industry, in shoe design, and that beautiful combination of colours and materials and the harmony between them. That's what the inside of DBX is all about. And all of that with five people in mind. Two six foot four people in the front and in the rear, three six foot four people. So five people, my height, comfortably in DBX. My name's Matt Becker and I'm Vehicle Engineering Director at Aston Martin. I'm going to take you through some of the key technical aspects of the DBX. So DBX headline performance statistics. Power 550 PS or 542 horsepower. Torque 700 newton meters. Top speed of 181 miles per hour or 291 kilometers per hour. 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds. 0 to 62 or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds. So the engine is a 4 litre twin turbo V8 with its own unique calibration to suit our application. The Aston Martin DBX is a completely new platform and structure. The mass of the car curb mass is 2245 kilograms. The weight distribution is 54% front, 46% rear. The wheelbase of the car is just over three metres long, so it's the longest wheelbase in the class, but actually the overall length of the car is circa 100 millimetres shorter than our closest competitors. So in the centre of the car we have an active differential. The differential has the ability to put an amount of torque to the front, but up to 100% torque to the rear, depending on the mode you've selected, but also the slip level the car has. From the active centre diff, the prop shaft comes rearward and it goes to the rear axle. The rear axle has an electronic differential that allows us to vary the torque to have the car feeling very agile or make the car feel longer or to benefit in traction performance. So the steering system on the car is bespoke to this vehicle. It's a 14 to 1 steering ratio and what that means effectively is visually the car shrinks in terms of size. What the steering ratio does combined with the other systems on the car makes a car that feels much smaller than it physically is. So in terms of the brake system on the car, car iron, 410 millimetres on the front axle, 390 millimetres on the rear. Six piston caliper on the front and an integrated park system caliper on the rear. So in terms of deceleration performance, this car can achieve up to 1.4 G, which is on par with the DBS Superleggera. So on DBX, we have three different tyre types available to us. They're all Pirelli and they're all the same size. 285 front, 325 rear. We have a winter tyre option for those that want to take the car off skiing. We have a summer tyre as well, which is for extreme performance, but actually we have an all season tyre that bridges the gap between winter and summer performance. So DBX has five predefined drive modes. Different to our GT and sports cars is the drive selectable modes are on the centre console. Mode up, if you think you're raising the right height of the car, so plus 20 millimetres for terrain, plus 45 millimetres overall for terrain plus. If you want to go down, you go back to GT, press the downward arrow and you'll go to Sport. Sport initially lowers the car 15 millimetres, Sport Plus lowers the car another 15 millimetres. 
when you select these different modes, obviously there's many other character changes within the car that are associated with this mode selection. On top of that, we have an individual configuration. Personally, for me, I like to have the suspension in GT mode, the steering in GT mode. I like the drive to be in sport mode, so I get a little bit more urgency from the shifts and a little bit more aggressive throttle uh, calibration. The exhaust system I like to have in Sport Plus because I like that more order content from the engine. I like the few more pops and bangs. So uh, that's effectively what the Matt Becker configuration would be. So regarding the exhaust system, the exhaust system is specifically designed, developed and tuned to suit the character of the car. In GT mode, you'll get a nice, warm, comforting, cosseting sound, which is relaxed at cruising speeds. If you want to turn the sound character up, you can switch to Sport and Sport Plus mode. The sound itself has got a nice mid to high frequency sound character. There are also two options within the exhaust system within the car. There's a standard exhaust and a sports exhaust depending on what territory you're in.